The most useless job in the world today has 100% got to be the gaming journalist. They're about as useful as a urinal in a female's bathroom. We're going to be watching a clip today of what the average gaming journalist room looks like. So as you can see here, every single one of these people in this room drinks soy milk. I can just tell. I can smell it through the computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my PPE on. For all of you that don't have a real job, that's personal protective equipment. These are my cringe glasses to protect me from the UV rays of cringe. I'm going to be getting the first-hand cringe. Y'all be getting second-hand cringe. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what these people got to say. You know what I want? <laughs> what you really, really want? <laughs> I want people in the industry to be a little bit louder about people being mean to other people and maybe say it's not a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe say, we don't want you around if you're going to be a cunt. <laughs> yeah. And hateful. And that the games industry is diverse naturally. Not because anyone's making them be diverse. Because the world is diverse, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have a problem with that, come fight me. Physically. <laughs> bitch. Has anyone taken you up on that yet? <laughs> no, because we're all pussies. Yep. Ah, the cringe. Now, immediately, I can go ahead and tell you right now, this looks like a vegan Austin Powers. Guys, listen, I'm not going to get into the whole differences between men and women and in how the bone density and the mentality and the physicality and the lethality of the differences of the sexes. I'm not going to get into any of that. I don't need to, okay? I'm not going to do it. The games industry is diverse naturally. Not because anyone's making them be diverse. Because the world is diverse. So then what is the diversity problem? If the gaming industry is already diverse, then why do you need more diversity? These people are going to be tipping the line of, we're going to need more white people in the game to be more diverse. Let's go ahead and make a point here. Raziel from Legacy of Kane series is blue. If they made him black, I would have a problem. Let's make another point. If Jax from the Mortal Kombat series went from black to white, I would also have a problem. And I don't have a problem because it's racist. I have a problem because you're changing characteristics of a character that don't need to be changed. Hollywood has figured out that the gaming industry makes more money than the music industry. And listen, everybody listens to music. So that's really saying something about the gaming community. The reason why mainstream media and all these stupid journalists are now a joke is because journalism is supposed to give you insider information, unbiased insider information about a specific topic. They're not supposed to give you biased information about what they want to tell you. Now, I was going to be professional and bring up a bunch of different articles from these journalists and kind of shit on them and about what they've been saying about games, but dude, every time I click on a, an article from a gaming journalist, I feel like I got a virus. Because there's so many pop-ups and abs. Would you like to accept all cookies or decline all of them? Uh, decline all of them. Okay. How about notifications? You want me notified for every single post that we that we make? You want me notified? Oh, okay. How about the 40 ads on the left side of the screen? And the 15 ads on the right side of the screen? Oh, wait. Hold on a second. The ads weren't done loading on the right side. It's now 30 ads on the right side of the screen. Who's clicking on these damn websites? There are enough new age video game journalists nowadays, and I call them gamers that make YouTube videos. They are the new journalists. You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> and if you have a problem with that, come fight me physically, <laughs> bitch. Has anyone taken you up on that yet? Has anyone taken you up on that yet? <laughs> Dude, if White Knight had a voice, 100% him, I can tell you exactly who said it. This guy right here on the right, Big Show's little cousin. Dumb people say stupid things and they don't get called out enough. She's right. We should call these people out. It's ironic how she's like, we should stop the hate. And if you don't like it, come and fight me, bitch. Like, it doesn't take a lot of balls to be like, hey, dude, like, are you trying to physically start an altercation with gamers of all people on the internet of all places? What are you doing? Where's your common sense? 
All right, let's see what this person looks like. Uh, marinating in man's tears. This is what I'm talking about, dude. These gaming journalists and even journalists nowadays are pushing such a political agenda. It's rage baiting political agendas that it's just people are tired of that. But we're tired of seeing all this. We hate women or we hate men and we we're tired of hearing this shit. You dumb dick idiots just worked yourself out of a job, and now you're out of the spotlight. And the only spotlight you get now is cringe-related. No one's taking you seriously anymore. Bro, gaming journalists don't even play video games. They played like Mario Kart once as a seven-year-old, went to college because they didn't know what else to do, ended up graduating while they wasted their life binge drinking every weekend, and they're like, well, what do I do now? I've got this useless degree. Let me go into voicing my opinion on something I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'll just throw one quick example out there since I can't click on anything without getting a virus. Uh, Doom Eternal. One of the most badass Christian games of all time. What's well, not Christian, man? What are you talking about? Going to hell and slaying demons isn't Christian? That's the most, that's the most Christian thing I've ever heard of. And what do you know? Gaming journalists hated it. They talked about how hard it was, the patriarchy, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Let's see them play the game. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. <laughs> Dog, I'm not going to harp on Doom Eternal because there's a new Doom coming out soon and I just... I can't even th dude the the soundtrack of Doom. Let's let's just put the gameplay aside. The the Doom soundtrack is so badass. I listen to it in the gym. I'm getting fired up thinking about it. I I ain't even listening to it. I can't even calm down. Calm down. All right, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It, 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 some of the, be of the best games in the past 10 years have been so incredible. I, I can't even, I, I, I just keep replaying them so much that I'm getting bored of them. So I take a month break to come back and revisit them and I'm having fun again. If this woman or whatever she wants to be called was a real journalist, she would be the schmo. The UFC journalist. Yeah, man, that's all I, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, these journalists are chronically on Twitter. They can't stop tweeting, retweeting, and, uh, you know, giving, giving, giving us their opinion on something that we just never asked for in, to begin with, honestly. But that's it for me. Uh, enough of that bullshit. I'll see you in the next one.